In this problem, we're going to multiply x plus 3y cubed. So we have a binomial, that's what this is called, because it's two terms, and we're going to cube it. So if you know about Pascal's triangle, um, you can use that to help you. But if you don't, you can just write this three times and multiply it out. So let's do it that way in this video. There's a 3 here, so we'll just write it three times. x plus 3y. We'll write it again, x plus 3y. And then one more time, x plus 3y. Okay, so now what we'll do is we'll just take these first two here, and we will uh, multiply them out. So to do that, we'll just take each term and distribute like this. x times x is x squared. And then you take the x and you multiply it by the 3y. So you just take the x and multiply it by each one. So x times 3y is plus 3xy. Then you go to the next one. So in this case, it'd be 3y times x will also give us 3xy. It's really 3yx, but that's the same as 3xy. And then 3y times 3y will give us 9y squared, right? 3 times 3 is 3, y times y is y squared. And then we still have our x plus 3y. Good stuff. Looks like we can combine some like terms here. This will be x squared plus 3xy plus 3xy is 6xy. And then we have our 9y squared here. And then we're left with x plus 3y. So now we're going to distribute again. So let's do it. So x squared times x, that's going to give us x cubed. x squared times 3y, that's going to give us plus 3 x squared y. And so now we go to the next one. So 6xy times x will give us plus 6x squared y. That's because x times x is x squared. And then 6xy times 3y will give us 18x. And then y times y is y squared. Finally, we're at the last one. So 9y squared times x is plus 9xy squared. I wanted to put the x first. And then 9y squared times 3y, well, 9 times 3 is 27. And y squared times y is y cubed. Wow, what a mess. So let's see what we end up with. As I write stuff down, I will cross it out so I don't mess up. So x cubed. Boom, we took care of that. Are there any like terms? Looks like 3x squared y and 6x squared y can be combined to 9x squared y. And then 18xy squared and 9xy squared would give us 27, right? Yeah, 27xy squared. And then we have plus 27y cubed. And that would be the final answer to this problem.